Hi, we're the Solar Food Drying System team, a multidisciplinary senior design team in the Kate Gleason College of Engineering. Currently, in Bourne, Haiti, over 50% of mangoes spoil due to the lack of preservation techniques. Having an affordable way to preserve fruit for future use is a crucial need, and our team set out to build a mass-producible device that can do that. Our team vision is to build a cheap, reliable food drying system that can dry 8 kilograms of fruit per day. As you can see, the fruit goes through a lengthy drying process, going from a mash to a fruit leather over the course of a day. The solar collector takes in wind and sunlight to heat and dry the air within. The solar panel uses sunlight to power fans sat between the collector and the chamber. This air then enters the drying chamber, utilizing the fans to propel it through and over the fruit mash on the trays. Our proposed solution will consist of an updated drying chamber, solar collector, and electrical system. The drying chamber is made of a repurposed HVAC trunk duct, which is easy to buy in bulk while reducing the amount of manufacturing work that will go into building a box from scratch. The door opens from the side to allow for easier access to the trays. The solar collector is made from sturdy conduit, and the top surface is angled to Hades latitude angle to maximize the captured amount of solar energy. Our electrical system consists of the initial fan system, where the fans are run by the solar panel directly, as well as a battery system to allow increased reliability and to allow one-fourth of the fans to run overnight. During our testing portion, one of our major sticking points has been Rochester's weather. It's been snowy, cold, and cloudy when we need it to be sunny and warm to properly test our systems. We'd like to thank our client, Dr. Stevens, for his support and time during this project, including allowing us to utilize his lab and simulation chamber. We'd also like to thank our guide, John Bonzo, as well as the MSD guides, Gary Houdinas and Carlos Berrios, for assisting us through the design and manufacturing process.